Eagles are some of the largest birds, they're at the top of the food chain, with some species feeding on big prey like monkeys and ancelots. Eagles have amazing eyesight and can detect prey up to 2 miles away. With the exception of some vultures, eagles are generally larger than other birds of prey. They have strong muscular legs, powerful talons, and large hooked beaks that enable them to rip the flesh from their prey. In this video, we're going to discuss Horrible Giant Eagle Devour Kangaroo, Goat, and Wolf. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Eagles vary in size. One of the smallest species, the little eagle, is around 17.7 to 21.7 inches, 45 to 55 centimeters. In contrast, Setter Sea Eagle is around 36 to 42 inches, 91 to 106 centimeters in size, and its wingspan can reach approximately 72 to 96 inches, 2 to 2.5 meters. The wedge-tailed eagles are the largest birds of prey in Australia, and while their diet usually consists of rabbits, hares, and bandicoots, they have been to go after larger animals like kangaroos and wallabies. In video, from near Port Lincoln, on the southern tip of the country in South Australia, a group of tourists came upon a group of wedge-tailed eagles attacking a kangaroo. Swooping down and taking a shot at its head, the kangaroo does its best to fight them off, even though it's outnumbered. And while the eagles may have just been trying to shoo the kangaroo away from a nest, the kangaroo wasn't too keen on sticking around and taking a talon to the face. An eagle's vision is 4-5 to five times better than that of a human. Eagle eyes are angled 30 degrees away from the center of the face, which gives eagles a, a greater field of view. Eagles can see 5 basic colors to our 3 and can detect UV light. A golden eagle has attacked an 8-year-old girl at the Ethno Festival on the southern bank of Lake Isikul. The girl suddenly showed up in the field where the eagle was flying. Instead of flying to its master, the bird attacked the girl. Salivat, an owner of the eagle, visited the girl in hospital where she was taken with slight injuries. A scary attack between a young bald eagle and a woman took place along Lake Superior Thursday and it was all caught on video, as Fox 21's Dan Hanger reports. The aggressive bald eagle was seen attacking the woman Thursday morning just 100 yards away from the Cascade Lodge and restaurant along Highway 61 in Lutzen. Head kitchen manager Bernie Banks ran to help the woman a guest at the lodge, using his chef's jacket to safely stop the raptor from charging on, the woman was not severely injured thanks in part to the genes on her legs. Eagles can be divided broadly into four groups, sea eagles, booted eagles, snake eagles, and giant forest eagles. Booted eagles have a relatively wide diet consisting of birds, small mammals, reptiles, rodents, amphibians, and insects, whereas others are more restricted. Sea eagles or fish eagles feed mostly on a diet of fish while snake eagles specialize in capturing reptiles. Giant forest eagles feed on various forest animals. One of the largest eagles, the harpy eagle, feeds on larger animals including monkeys, sloths, and coaties. Foxes are mammals and nurture their youngs in dens. They're omnivores feeding off vegetation and meat and are nocturnal animals who hunt at night. Eagles are birds of prey and raise their chicks in nests. In another video, a bald eagle and a fox ended up in an amazing mid-air tug-of-war over a rabbit. It all started with a red fox wandering around with a recently caught rabbit. Suddenly, a bald eagle swooped in to try and claim the prize, but the relentless fox would not give up that easily. The fox held on to the rabbit and was lifted more than 20 feet into the air by the eagle. Eventually, the fox is forced to let go and the eagle flies off with the rabbit in clutches. The extraordinary moment was caught on camera by Kevin Ebby. The nature photographer who runs a business called Living Wilderness was visiting San Juan Island National Historical Park when he saw the dramatic scene unfold. A couple of days ago, I captured an especially dramatic act of thievery between these wild animals. He wrote on his blog, I saw a bald eagle steal a rabbit from a young red fox. Even more impressive, at times, this battle played out more than 20 feet in the air. A red fox caught a rabbit and was carrying it across the meadow, he said. I panned my camera with it to capture the action, then behind me, I heard the cry of a bald eagle. I turned around and saw it approaching fast. I knew it wanted the rabbit. I intently trained my camera on the fox bracing for a split second of the action. To my surprise, the scene was even more dramatic than I expected. I thought the fox would drop the rabbit, 
giving the eagle an easy dinner. Instead, the fox, with its jaw still clenched on the rabbit, inadvertently got snagged by the bald eagle. The eagle lifted the young fox and rabbit into the sky, triggering an even more dramatic struggle. That's one feisty fox! The entire airborne battle lasted around 8 seconds, bringing a whole new meaning to the term flying fox. Finally, after realizing that this battle cannot be won, the fox gave up the fight and the eagle dropped it from a height of around 20 feet. While taking a pretty heavy landing, the fox showed no signs of injury from its flight. Trail camera footage from Terrace, BC shared on social media, shows an adult bald-headed eagle and a wolf battling it out over carry-on scraps left on the ground. You might think the wolf would have the advantage, at least on the ground, but that doesn't appear to be the case. A full-grown eagle's wingspan can exceed 7 feet and its talons can grow larger than a man's hand. Typically, wolves grow to between 3 and 5 feet and adult eagles learn to disable larger prey with a powerful strike directed at the back of the skull of larger mammals such as wolves, deer, and mountain goats. Photos also show the eagle forcing the wolf to treat and retreat and give up on the carry-on meal, but we don't know what happened after the camera stopped recording. American bald eagles are one of nature's largest raptors. On the other hand, wolves are the largest canines in the world. They weigh from 60 to 180 pounds. Wolves are between 2.2 and 2.8 feet tall at the shoulder and up to 5.4 feet long. This is where the wolf size comes in handy. A bald eagle wouldn't be able to lift the heavy canine as the bird can lift only 5 to 10 pounds. In another video, there was a rabbit running fast on a flat meadow because it was being chased by an eagle that hasn't eaten for a week. Then the eagle launched its first attack, and it failed. The rabbit kept running, and the eagle swooped down again. Just like a ninja, rabbit dodges at the last second, finally the eagle managed to catch this little ninja. The eagle must have thought this rabbit was very troublesome. After breathing for a while, the eagle flew to bring dinner for the babies who were waiting at home. For decades, circumstantial evidence has shown the golden eagles do indeed attack large mammals like deer and even bear cubs. But in a paper published Monday in the Journal of Raptor Research, Linda Curley of the Zoological Society of London and Jonathan Slatt of the Wildlife Conservation Society unveiled stunning images of an adult golden eagle attacking and killing a young Sika deer, weighing 88 to 100 pounds. The images were captured by a camera trap the researchers set up to study Siberian tigers in the Russian Far East. Instead, the cameras captured what the authors of the paper say may be the first documentation of such an attack. A 2005 paper in the Western North American Naturalist found strong evidence that a golden eagle killed a pronghorn. The scientists saw a golden eagle in the vicinity of a freshly killed 60-pound pronghorn. A necropsy found the carcass had no bite marks, but it did have puncture marks consistent with the type made by talons. The pronghorn, the scientists found, was likely killed when its cervical vertebrae were fractured. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Until then, take care, stay safe, and be happy, guys.